The exhibition, Frida Kahlo Making Herself Up, explores how the Mexican artist constructed her visual identity through makeup, jewellery, and in particular her choice of clothing. Frida Kahlo had a very strong sense of herself as an individual and a very striking look, and we really wanted to convey that in the mannequin design. Part of my role is to decide how we display fashion garments in the museum. There are several important functions that the mannequin has to fulfil. It has to give a sense of the wearer and help to support the overall exhibition design and narrative. Using a modern fashion mannequin wouldn't have been appropriate for someone as iconic as Frida Kahlo. It's been crucial to establish the correct height, profile and body shape. Rather than using traditional sculpting methods, we've used 3D rendering and 3D printing to create a head that evokes the feeling of Frida Kahlo but without being pastiche. We've not taken that approach before with mannequin design. It's required a lot of experimentation and collaborative practice. We've worked with some of the best mannequin manufacturers in the world in order to fulfill this brief. Hans both developed, design, produce and supply window mannequins. We shifted from the traditional way of sculpting to 3D. We built our own 3D printers for that. This project would not have been possible if we have adopted it in the traditional way. The most critical stage is basically from 2D to 3D model. Me and a designer in the studio are looking for references to 3D sculpt. The challenge was to capture Frida Kahlo in a certain time period. What are the proportions of a face? We start really with a digital ball of clay and then it's pushing, pulling to get the face in there. The 3D printers are a tool to get the model that we have made out of the digital world and bring it in the real world. 24 hours later we have Frida Kahlo. We started off with something quite realistic. We had over 10 different variations of the head and in the end we've got something that's quite soft and paired back. Once the head was actually designed, we then worked with Proportion London, who specialise in museum mannequins. They've been able to produce the full figure and understand our very strict conservation requirements. Proportion London have been around for over 150 years. There's a huge element of craftsmanship here. Each one of the figures is handmade. Each one of them is bespoke. We received a 3D printed likeness of Frida Kahlo. Whenever we get a master head in, we take a flimsy mould. Then we take a cast from that mould and that allows us to play with the piece. And when it was all agreed, we then make what's called the final production mould in a process called lamination. The two sides of the mould are popped apart and then progressively sanded down until the figure is completely smooth. Over the top of that, we lay cardboard and finer coatings, then the top coat. There is an awful lot of adapting in this process, and that is why we use the copy costumes, the twirls. They helped us to get just the right size and fit, and especially the length in this case. The heads are removable because of the headdresses and getting the garments onto the figure. There is nothing more bespoke than this. We've taken inspiration from some of Frida's artworks, in particular the two Fridas, which is a double self-portrait. They're actually holding hands and it's quite an intimate moment and a really nice opening for the exhibition. A lot of experimentation has gone into the look of the mannequins. In the end we selected a paper finish that's got a stone-like quality. Frida almost looks like a Mexican idol. This is an interpretation of Frida Kahlo that's unique to this exhibition. We're displaying her wardrobe for the very first time outside of Mexico City. Every detail has been thought through to try and bring the costumes to life and to really celebrate Frida Kahlo's artistic legacy, not only as an artist, but also as a style icon.